Unfortunately, autoimmune diseases have been increasing at an alarming rate. Now, medical science doesn't seem to understand why this is happening. But let's just step back for a minute and take a look at the bigger picture. If you take a look at some of the other diseases that are also increasing, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, all of these diseases have been increasing at an alarming rate. And if we just go back, I don't know, 30 years ago, allergies. Allergies were not a big problem. Maybe one child out of a hundred might have had allergies. Today, it seems like one out of every two or three children now have allergies. So if you take a look at autoimmune diseases, allergies, type 1 diabetes, cancer, what is the common denominator across all of these diseases? Figured it out? It's the immune system. Now the immune system happens to be one of the most complex systems in the body and it is one of the most difficult systems for medical science to treat. They use uh, steroids to treat autoimmune diseases. <laughs> that should tell you they don't understand how the immune system works. Now I'm not going to get into very detailed discussion about that right now, but at a very high level, if you go back when we started with vaccines, the understanding was the immune system was this one huge system. In reality, the immune system is actually made up of three major subsystems. As a result, over the years, we have started treating allergies and autoimmune diseases thinking that we were dealing with one system, and that's just not true. When you overlay on top of that the other diseases, most people don't realize if you're diabetic, your immune system is under attack. If you have heart disease, believe it or not, your immune system is compromised. And if you have cancer, oh, don't even get me started, okay? There is no other disease that really attacks the immune system like cancer. Cancer is the only disease I can think of where you take drugs to weaken the immune system when you, in reality, you want to strengthen the immune system. Guess what happens to most cancer people? Within five years, six years, ten years, whatever length of time, everyone is different. Eventually, they develop cancer in another part of the body. Why is that? It's because the cancer drugs create more cancer. Now, I don't want to sound like a crazy person. I'm obviously not a cancer expert. But if you just apply some common sense, you can begin to see why all of these diseases are increasing. Now, some good news. <laughs> you can't actually treat all of these diseases without relying on toxic drugs. And I'll be getting into that in a little bit more detail in a future post. Take care.